Hey everyone, my name is Rooster and welcome back to Mechabellum. In today's video, I would like to showcase a replay where I am uh, utilizing wasps as a carry unit and also making good use out of the armor upgrade in a scenario where it will get me a lot of value. Now, before we get started, these are the technologies that I am running at the time. It is range, um, elite marksman, aerial spec, and energy shield. I think this is a great loadout if you want to go carry wasp. You could also consider perhaps taking out aerial spec and going ground specialization. I think if you want to play the comp that I will be showcasing, that is certainly something that you could do. Um, but I think range and elite are definitely manda mandatory. And shield is just one of those techs that if you want to use them as chaff in any of your games, will certainly be um, nice to have. But Wasps have a lot of stuff that you can play around with. They're one of the units with the most techs in the game. So, yeah. Anyway, enough talking. Let's get into the game and I'll talk you guys through my thought process as well as what exactly I'm trying to go for and why I'm positioning units the way that I am. See you there. All right. Now, here we are. Um, having a look at the packs, I immediately get heavy armor with a uh, sledge as well as Fang. This is a really powerful startup. I think Rhino spec here, Crawler Sledge is also powerful. And Aerial spec is maybe playable, but I don't like Steel Balls that much currently. Um, so I go for the Heavy Armor. This spec has gotten really powerful ever since the big buffs to Crawler, um, especially with their HP buff. Um, it means that when you buy Crawlers, it doesn't matter what um, opponent you're facing, what specialists they have, Arc lights will not be able to one-shot your crawlers. So, yeah. Aside from that, sledges have just been powerful now for a while. Um, they are able to at least one-shot level one crawlers. They are decent early game chaff. They're quite tanky. And they just provide a solid front line for whatever you're going for. Anyone that's been playing the game will probably recognize this sort of setup. Um, very prevalent, especially when people want to go for what is probably the strongest um, unit to pair with this being overlords. Um, we also like to call them boats, but as I will show you, uh, there is the option to use it differently. So the way that I play this, I will put the, um, fangs down and then two squares of space, sledges, two squares of space, uh, fang, and then I repeat that. And that is kind of like a solid setup that you can do if you don't want to have to think too much. Um, what this will do is essentially make sure that First of all, your sledges can't get missiled. Um, your fangs will be targeted first. And then, you know, it makes sure that whatever is targeting the fangs will be shooting in this direction. And then the threat is coming from the middle. Um, crawlers here can also certainly work. The reason why you would do fangs is that they hold their position for a bit longer. They're, you know, also not the fastest of units. Same as the sledges. And that is... Um, well, it just means that your whole comp kind of advances at the same speed and holds their formation. But you can definitely make this work with crawlers as well. Um, and then the final thing is that potentially you could go for something like Fang Shield at a certain point so you can't get missiled out. But yeah, um, here we just have to make do. My opponent, by the way, is a Marksman spec starting out with arc lights as well as sledges. So here he has arc lights. I will probably buy some crawlers. Because, again, arc lights can no longer one-shot my crawlers. Arc lights have 346 damage. And if we will have, uh, if we will take a look at my heavy armor crawlers, they will be above that threshold. And then, yeah, I mean, opponent buys two crawlers, puts them behind the towers. I think I would prefer putting them horizontally. I would always recommend this to anyone. This prevents them from being pulled. No matter what you're facing, like putting them... Vertical like this will not um, benefit you all that much over putting them horizontal. And yeah, also has the marksman, the sledges. So quite a powerful early game setup, to be honest. I decide to go for more chaff. What I'll be going for right now is looking at this. Honestly, I could just build a couple more sledges early on. I'm heavy armor, so I should be favored against his sledges, against his arc lights. Um, my crawlers are stronger than his crawlers, as you can see here. The arc light is uh, unable to one-shot them. My crawlers are sitting at 366 hit points, so 
20 hit points above the alpha of an arc light. And yeah, I mean, this is probably going to showcase you why heavy armor is quite strong um, currently. Of course, I do lose. My opponent has got that marksman, which is able to one-shot my sledges. And this is pretty much how I would expect the first round to go. But nothing too egregious as of yet. Now, here we get some interesting um, options. Improved Wasp shows up. Now, usually I would play this again with Overlord. That is likely the best comp to play with this. However, in this specific scenario, I'm not aerial spec, so I don't have easy access to Overlords unless I get them offered, but I can't guarantee that. Um, also, my opponent does have a Marksman, and that Marksman does have um, aerial spec available, as I could see. I was a little bit scared of this, so I thought to myself, well, wait a second, Improved Wasp shows up. This is a pretty good card. Out of the Improved ones, this is one of the better ones you... of one of the better buffs for the unit itself, I think. You get 60% attack, 60% HP, and you increase the range of the Wasp by 20, which is really significant. Um, now, the Wasp will cost 300, but for that amount of buff, that's quite good. And... I can make this work with wasps as well. As long as I, I'm running those carry techs, all I need to do is make sure that my wasps have more range than my sledges so that my sledges can take the brunt of the attack and my wasps stay safe and can DPS. It's also good into the marksman because the marksman, while being good at dealing with single target units like a wraith, like an overlord, um, will not be very good at dealing with wasps. So instead of building an overlord for which my opponent already has a counter on the board, um, I'm thinking to myself, I might just try and make wasps work in this scenario. And so what you will see me do is pick up the improved wasp. Now, I'm not going to be purchasing them right away because they cost 50 to unlock. My wasps will go to 300 cost a piece, which is too much right now on round two. I only have 400 credits to spend and I will go down to 350 picking up this card. So all I'm going to do is just start setting up my board a bit more, right? Opponent goes for Stormcallers, which is a reasonable decision. Um, he can position that probably so that it splits between the fangs. It's good against fangs. It's good against sledges. However, I won't be going for more fangs right now. Um, crawlers are just a better option. And yeah, here you can see me setting up. So I went for a defense enhancement, making sure that if my opponent goes attack, his arc light still won't be able to one-shot my crawlers, and I double flank him, making good use, or rather abusing, the fact that my opponent put his crawlers vertical behind the tower. And I know that I have this enhancement, and I know that I'm heavy armor, so I, my crawlers should win out and eventually get a tower. I probably still lose this, because my opponent is still a bit stronger and I didn't really do anything about um, my front line. But I'm creating some problems and you can already see that we're starting to crawl back. And in fact, we might even win this now that I'm looking at it. I know I played this game, but <laughs> I don't remember exactly what happened in what round. No, it looks like we actually do win. So I only spent 200 on units there with a double crawler, and you can see how powerful they are, right? And this could probably have been, well, I say it could have been prevented. If he puts them horizontal behind the tower, only part of them get pulled. But now I get level 2 crawlers on the sides, and that is a disaster, because level 2 crawlers can't even be one-shot by level 1 sledges at this point. Orbital shows up. I do decide to pick it up. My opponent goes for the smoke bomb. Um, we'll talk about this again a bit later, but I think this was a mistake to pick up, right? Because I want to be in his face. I mean, I put my units on the line, right? I don't mind being close to my opponent. That's what I decided to go for. So I'm not sure if Orbital would have been that good for him here, but it's a big investment, right? So I level my crawlers on the side. My opponent does put down the sledges, and as you will see... The sledges don't quite one-shot, 
Those level 2 crawlers. I, they are just so powerful right now. And my opponent goes for double shield alongside picking up the smoke. So this is a big investment. If I can take down both of his shields, one of which is already gone, I am in a really, really good spot, right? It might look like, oh, I lost this round. Uh, I'm in a really bad spot, but it doesn't quite show you the entire picture. Both of us went for actives that cost 100 or 150 if you include not skipping. Um, I went for orbital, my opponent goes for smoke, so we're even in that regard. Um, neither of us is an economic specialist, so he doesn't have an advantage over me in that regard. And he also went for double shield, but he loses his shields. So he's down 200 right now, right? Which is... Which is quite a lot this early on. Now, we get unit cards offered. Um, Typhoon and Mustang were in the mix. I wasn't very happy when I saw this because I had obviously already picked Improved Wasp. And if my opponent looks at what specialists or what cards I have, they will see this and they will probably have an idea that, hey, my opponent, Rooster, paid money for this card. So I am probably in a good spot if if I build myself some some uh, Mustang, something that can deal with wasps, right? And so in this free unit round, both counters to wasp show up with a double level 2 Mustang or level 3 Typhoon, also very good at dealing with wasps and has access to um the anti-air upgrade, right? So yeah, uh, he does pick up the Typhoons. I guess also probably wants to try out the new units. I think Mustangs here were perfectly fine as well. But the Typhoons here, level 3, gets the immediate barrier. I mean, that's a lot of hit points, right? 36,000 hit points um, on these level 3s, and that's per Typhoon. So 72,000 72, hit points total. That's a lot to deal with. Buys another Typhoon. I go replicate on my crawlers uh, because I saw that on this side... It was kind of struggling still with these sledges. And I think with the replicates, I might be able to win. I pick up the Phoenixes for some extra single target DPS. They will also help me deal with something like those shields. And I finally pick up my first pack of wasps. I decide to push the left side. Um, this is a bit of an aggro thing, right? Uh, it looks like I'm mostly pushing the right tower because I'm, I'm more so on that side. So I decide to put most of my resources on the left to try and get an advantage, especially on this round where I know that both of us get a big power spike. And it all works out, right? My crawlers are winning this side. I managed to push in, get the debuff. And with that debuff, I'm able to finally overwhelm my opponent and get myself a round win. Much needed because I have to say I was at 27,000 hit points. So... Didn't really want to lose more rounds there. And we do good damage, sending my opponent down to below 3,500. Round 5, cards show up. We see a Giant Hunter Elite Fang Steel Ball Production Line Enhancement Module. I don't see any use for the first three. Um, and honestly, I don't see that much use for Enhancement Module either. My opponent definitely has got some good use here for Enhancement Module. Does pick it up. Has got levels here on the sledges. Uh, on the storms, can level them, sell out of them, make more money, has got plenty of things to level for free uh, for the, the rounds to come. And yeah, so here it goes on to that sledge. I think it would have been probably good for him to try and like level a sledge here and then sell it, put it on this one just to maximize his income, but decides against it. Um, I do make sure, by the way, to level all of my sledges where I can in this scenario. This isn't necessarily something you have to do when you are playing with overlords, because the overlords are your main concern and the sledges are just there to tank. But here, um, especially against something like Typhoon, or even if it was Mustang, right? I'm going to have to be careful, and I'm going to make sure that my wasps outrange my sledges, so that my sledges tank. My sledges are equipped with armor... Um, and levels scale, or armor scales with levels, so I want to make sure that these are tanky enough to be able to withstand everything, right? And here you can see already, my wasps are currently sitting at 110 range, my sledge is at 95, but it's a little awkward, right? Like, you can see that they are 
kind of on top of one another, so... Typhoons will be shooting at sledges one time, but then locking onto some wasps after. And this is with range. So I did take up the range. I bought two more wasps this round. Starting to build my composition. And trying to get those levels onto the wasps. This round doesn't go as well for me. It's close. And it looks like we might be able to win. And snipe that... That pesky marksman. Yep, and that removes all of the AA from my opponent. And now we should be able to clean up and get a win. Although this round was very close and I won't be doing that much damage. So we can almost call it the tie. Now wasps here again. They managed to get levels which is great. I get haste module, amp core, speed spec. All of these are decent. I think amp core is a bit too expensive for me. And haste module is really good. So... I'm probably just picking this up because I want all the levels here. And I actually did make the calculation. Um, sometimes I will do this. It's a bit tedious, but I was like, okay, what do I want to do, right? I have 1,200 credits available. I want to get all the levels. That's first and foremost. Again, I'm planning to go armor on my sledges, skills with levels. Um, I need those. And my single target DPS, even though my phoenixes are doing a good job, will be coming from the wasps eventually and i will be going elite to leverage that extra damage and the extra range i get which again skills with levels if i don't level my wasps um they will kill most of the stuff again because they are my main source of damage and all that xp will go to waste so i'd rather get all of those levels and then make decisions after because otherwise my comp just will not get off the ground and will not scale as the game progresses so I want levels. I want one, two, three, four levels. That's 400. I probably want the levels on the Phoenixes as well because they're doing really good. And level three Phoenixes are insane in terms of DPS and will help greatly um, when it comes to killing those shields and breaking them somewhat early. So that is 600 to spend, right? What else do I want to do? Well, I probably want to put down some, some units here. Um... Potentially like another unit of chaff. Maybe even some more wasps. So with 600 left, I don't think I want to buy the amp core. I mean, 600 could also buy me, of course, um, two wasps, right? If I go down to 500, I won't be able to do that. Haste module does its job, so I should probably pick that up. My opponent goes for the amp core. Um, great decision for him, I think. Can put it onto those big typhoons here. 75% health. I mean, they're already tanky as is, right? 32k hit points per unit. That's 60,000 for the, the pair. Plus the shield. I mean, like, buff that with HP. The damage goes up as well. It's a bit difficult, right? Um, oh, right. Now that I, now I remember. I wanted to buy armor. There it finally is. So I wanted to buy armor that costs 300 and then I have 300 left to spend after getting the haste module to buy myself another pack of sledges and indeed some chaff here on the left side. Haste mod has gone onto my level three wasps. I will be looking to go for elite marksman probably next round because as you saw, we still have a bit of a, a problem. And now my opponent goes for aerial spec as their second tech on the typhoons. This means that, yeah, look at this, right? I mean, my wasps are also just really fast. So even though they have slightly more range, they advance into the enemy team first and get immediately targeted and taken out. With Elite, I can probably make sure that they stop a bit faster and actually let the sledgehammers get in front of everything. Now, obviously, a way to fix this would have been to put the wasps a bit further back. I can also uh, go for mech rage eventually on my sledges if I want to, because it gives them the additional speed to stay in front of my units. But I think most important here will be the elite spec to um, to make sure that you know my tanks are in front and my carry units are behind. So big round here for my opponent, really massive round. Uh, this is how you can see that like the positioning really matters and the way that the engage goes. So the wasps here just too fast, get in front of everything and they get taken out immediately. And um, yeah, the AA prioritizing the, the wasps as well, not good for me. 
My opponent, by the way, went for hackers, trying to deal with these sledges. Now, I think this is a good choice. However, it probably would have been better to go for something like the Scorpion. And this is why, right, I think my opponent should have sold out of the sledges. Because I'm ahead of him, I'm heavy armor. The sledges are doing something, but, you know, their damage isn't that high. Uh, you've got enough chaff here in the Typhoons, so you probably just don't need to do... Uh, to keep them around. And... He just put it onto one of his flank sledges and hasn't sold out of it. It's just a little awkward, right? Like, you could have sold out, get money, scale, transition. Um, the hackers are fine, but my my sledges are starting to get real, real tanky with a lot of hit points. And so even the level 2 hackers here will struggle trying to, to hack those. Now, in the free unit round, both of us pick up this Rhino, which I believe is level 5. Oh, level 7 Rhino, sorry. <laughs> um, I'm putting it over here because none of these units will be able to deal with it. Even if he puts down a level 1 hacker on that side, it's not going to be able to hack this. 180k hit points is simply too much. I'm a bit afraid of the flanks here, so I did put down a Fang uh, last turn and also put down a missile this turn. And here is where... The smoke comes back to haunt my opponent, as we will see. Um, I do pick up, by the way, the Elite. This was mandatory. I am starting to loan, getting temp range as well, just to make sure that these Wasps stay out of danger as much as they can. And um, yeah, we'll see here that this is come, going to come to bite my opponent. I am selling out of these Crawlers, by the way, because I know that my opponent is about to level these Sledges. There's no point. They're not going to win anymore. Same level. They will get one shot. Better to sell and just get the money and use it elsewhere. So my opponent uses Smoke, which is real good for me. Because guess what? I want my Sledges, which are the only units here, or well, the ground units, right, that get affected by Smoke, to go in front of my Wasps. So giving them less range, because they're in Smoke, will help to that goal. Now, they do stop here for a bit. And you can see here, right, level 1 hacker. But, I mean, look at how tanky this guy is. And, yeah, now you can see these sledges inside of the smoke here moving ahead. And so all of my wasps, they stay behind. They're unaffected. And they get the tanks that they were hoping for. My rhino does end up getting hacked. Uh, I put some phoenixes on the flank, by the way. Because my opponent was only defending with crawlers and sledges. So I wasn't able to, to hit the air. And there we see that we turn this thing around. Now I think I was in a good spot regardless. But I definitely do believe that the smoke helped me in this scenario. Another enhancement module shows up. Portable shield shows up too. An incendiary bomb. Uh, I think here portable shield is probably good for me. I could take enhancement module, but I don't I don't want to sell anything. That's the point. Um, these Phoenixes, by the way, also doing a great job. But my level 3 Wasp with the Haste mod is doing the most damage by far. I get my Orbital back as well. And opponent puts down some Typhoons over here. Gets Oil as well. And did I skip? I think I did skip. Interesting. Hmm. I mean, I'm probably selling out of the Rhino here. Um, I got a bunch of levels. And it's, it's getting real expensive. I kind of want the levels on the Phoenix as well. I think to myself, yeah, well, my Rhino is probably going to get missiled or oiled. Or, you know, he's going to put something there to deal with it this turn. It caught him off guard last turn. But this turn it won't work. Better to sell... Get all of those credits and um, invest it elsewhere. I'm putting double missile here just in case I get cheese with like a crawler and a, a phoenix. I, I just don't want to lose my tower. I can't afford to. I have 500 hit points. Like I need to make sure that I don't get cheese there and lose the round. I put triple wasp <laughs> and I go into the tower on that side. We have lone as well. Temp range, temp speed. Trying to get everything done. The wasps here, level 1 even, are taking on that typhoon, by the way. Unfortunately, those sledges um, 
turned away from the flank a little too quick. And now they're in front of the tower protecting it. And the Typhoons get to clean up. But I think I have distracted my opponent for long enough that I can actually still win this round. Yep, and Wasps, they keep leveling because of how much damage they're dealing. I send my opponent down to 340 hit points. And we get another unit round. Now, this is a crucial decision for me as well. Um, and it... The decision I make is purely made because of one thing, right? I look at my opponent's board. What type of anti-air do they have? It's only... Um, typhoons. And Typhoons, like Mustangs, have low damage per attack, but high attack speed. So what counters them? Armor. Of course, my ground armor, it can get hacked. It can get um, one-shot by things like Scorpion. But a Wraith can't. And I do run armor on my Wraith, as well as field maintenance. Level 4, that means that it's going to be blocking um, any damage as long as it, it's going to be blocking 240 damage for every tick these level 2 typhoons do 168 so they're not going to be scratching my um wraith even these ones i mean these ones would so it's why i put this thing on the left i double tech it with field maintenance as well so that it also heals if it does end up taking a little bit of damage um obviously the typhoon here gets a 90 percent damage buff from the AA that it has as well. So I think it's like just on the edge. But with the, the fuel maintenance, it probably doesn't die at all. And yeah, I'm just trying to make sure that all of these typhoons lock onto my wraith and just keep shooting at it for the rest of the for the rest of the round. Opponent goes for the high level Mustangs here, I believe. But no tech on them whatsoever. I believe range is picked up on the hackers. Um, he also went for homing missile, by the way, to get a little bit of extra damage on those tanks. And yeah, I just make sure that I keep buying everything that I can. I mobile beacon those wasps back to the main army because obviously this is going to be defended. Um, and yeah, I also put down some crawlers here because I thought this was missileable. I don't want my opponent to like missile my whole pack of wasps. And yeah, I just pick up all of the levels that I can. And one more crawler. We get the range, we get the speed. And here we go. And oh my days, look at this. Look at that. I mean, that is about as perfect as you could have it. My Wraith is tanking all of those Typhoons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine are locked on. <laughs> and it just does not take any damage. And all of my wasps stay alive in the back line. DPSing like crazy. And that is the one gut shot that manages to uh, to win the game. That was a lot of fun. It was stressful as well. Uh, again, my opponent did get the Typhoons and the Mustangs even before I had played the Wasps, but I had showed my hand to some degree. Um, I was struggling early on because I had to get those levels. I had to get the double tech. I had to get the armor on the sledges, the levels on the sledges. I mean, it's it was expensive, right? And it almost went wrong, sending me down to 500 hit points that one round. But I think that we managed to stabilize well. Um, this comp is a simple design, really, right? You just think about those sledges staying in front of your wasps and you hope that whatever is countering the wasps locks onto the sledges and doesn't deal any or at least doesn't deal much damage because of the armor. Um, I realize correctly that my opponent doesn't have good single target AA. Um, at the end of the game. And so the Wraith with the double tech here is the perfect free unit pick for me. Um, a bit of a tough one for my opponent because I don't think anything was offered there to counter it easily. Um, what I think I, he should have done is probably not go for the hackers. Even though it's a nice idea, it can be a bit tricky to actually get to all of my sledges and hack them in time. 
my wasps take them out relatively quickly if they do get hacked because wasps deal so much damage that they don't care about armor. Um, he probably should have gone for, again, probably should have sold out of his sledges, um, made some money, and then probably gone for something like scorpions, which will be able to deal with the sledges much more easily. And yeah, last turn, I don't know about these mustangs. They they didn't get any techs, so I'm not really sure what they're supposed to do. They're going to run in front of everything. But was a good game. Was a fun one. We get to see the Typhoons work. Um, we get some sledge action with air units, but at least there's no Overlord actually making the Wasps work this time and was a real hard-fought close battle. So yeah, if you like this, um, feel free to leave a like, comment down below. And yeah, subscribe if you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. Be sure to check me out on Twitch if you want to see me play live. And with that being said, have a lovely rest of your day. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.